Block trades are trades that represent abnormal trading volume in a specific stock. There is no specific amount of shares that represents a block trade. Instead, it represents a deviance from the standard or average order volume. For example, if the average order size is about 1,000 shares for a stock, and you see an order come in for about 10, 20,000 shares, we could call this an abnormal trade. The trade is nearly 10 to 20 times the size of the average trade. So for different stocks, there will be different qualifications for a block trade. For example, a stock may have an average order size of 1,000 shares, and a block trade may be considered to be 10 or 20,000 shares, whereas another stock may have an average order size of 100 to 200,000 shares, and we'd be more interested in block trades of about a million shares or more. I'm going to show you a few different ways you can find block trades using the scanning platform. Before we do that, let's take a quick minute to talk about the significance of a block trade. A block trade represents a unique interest in a stock. If everyone's placing orders for about 1,000 shares in a stock, and someone places an order for 20,000 shares, there may be something going on. Someone may be loading up on shares to build a large position, which can sometimes allude to a future move. Let's get to it. The first way to scan for block trades is using the breakout scanner. I'll go ahead and turn off all of these other alerts so we can focus solely on block trades. You'll navigate over to the block trades filter and make sure that it's checked. From here, we can set up custom criteria to alert us to the block trades that we're actually interested in. You have the option to set different block alerts for different types of stocks. We can choose the stock's price range and the qualifications for a block trade. For example, if a stock is priced between zero and 10 cents, we might be interested in block trades that are over 200,000 shares. We can add a new block for stocks that are priced between one and $10 and set this to 50,000 shares. We can add as many of these criteria as we'd like. For example, I'll add one for stocks over $100 and I'll set that to 10,000 shares. And you can play around with these settings as you see the alerts come in. For example, if you see a lot of false positives, you can go ahead and tweak the settings. If you're not getting alerts for the block trades you're actually interested in, you can add new block alert criteria. I'll go ahead and update this and let the scanner run. We can see it's already bringing in alerts for different stocks. We can see this stock traded 450,000 shares at nine mils. We can see this stock just traded 60,000 shares at $4. That's actually a pretty interesting one because that's a six figure trade and we might wanna look deeper into that in which case we could click on the ticker and analyze it further. Setting up block trades in the breakout scanner is really that simple. If you find the criteria aren't showing the alerts you want, simply tweak the settings. For example, I see an alert over here for 450,000 shares at 0009. That is pretty much a standard order size for a stock that's that cheap. So we may change our settings to include stocks over one cent. So between one cent and 10 cents. Now we can avoid some of those false positives and focus on the most interesting trades. I'm gonna show you one more interesting way you can scan for block trades manually. Whereas the breakout scanner can show you block trades in real time, we also have another tool you can use to look for historical block trades that may have happened earlier in the day. To access this tool, we'll close out the breakouts window and we'll navigate over to level two. Enter a symbol, such as Tesla, and you'll see the normal level two window. From there, underneath time and sales, we can click on see full day to load up the time and sales history. The time and sales history tool allows us to see all the trades for a day in a specific time frame. For example, if I want to see trades at market open, I'd select the first half hour of market trading times. From there, I'd click go, and all of the trades for that time period will load. We can see all of the trades from the market open and scroll through them. But if we want to see block trades only, we can click on the filter and add our criteria. For example, this stock is Tesla priced at $700, so I want to see any trade over 1,000 shares. Make this window a little bit bigger so we can find the Go button, and from there we can click Go and filter through these trades. I see a ton of different trades, 1,000 shares, 3,000 shares, 
there's clearly a lot of interest in this stock. For example, every trade at $700 for 1,000 shares represents $700,000 of trading volume. I can increase these filters even more to see even more interesting block trades. I'll set the volume to 10,000 shares. And I can see one order came in for 192,000 shares representing a massive order. We could continue to use this feature and look at different time frames in different settings as well as different stocks. Finding block trades using the Scans platform is really that simple. Good luck with your trading and reach out if you have any questions.